Bonnie, what are the parameters for the tabloid media? Because I, I'm not sure if I entirely agree with Phil. Sometimes when I hear about some of these tabloids closing, I'm delighted because I've spent my life trying to be a serious journalist, and I think a lot of tabloid reporting is not serious at all. <laughs> Well, first of all, I think we have a very different newspaper culture here and a very different tabloid culture. We don't have the kind of press wars, tabloid wars that were going on in Britain. I mean, there they had numerous tabloids. People buy them in the millions every day. We, they've not had the declining kind of newspapers that we've had here. And, and it's real this, cutthroat stuff over there. Oh, very cutthroat stuff. And our, our newspapers have always generally been more, more serious. Now, there's only a couple of tabloids. I mean, we've got them here in New York. New York the New York Post, the Daily News, but and they're very lively, but nobody, I think, would feel that they have stooped to the, the level of what was going on, the kind of scandals, and, and we're not looking at any kind of allegations like these for our newspapers here, but our whole culture is very different, our popular culture. Talk to me a little bit about that, though, Bonnie, this, this popular culture. I've watched it over the years of certain cases, the O.J. Simpson case, the Tanya Harding case, the uh, Ramsey murder case. I mean, they took over the news business, and frankly, I don't blame people for not trusting us when we start running this stuff like evening soap operas instead of saying there is more serious matters out there. Well, people... The tabloids led the way on that, for sure. That's true, but... Listen, I mean, it's it's understandable. It's normal for people to be very, to be interested in these major crime stories. I mean, look at the Casey Anthony story. It riveted the nation, but it rivets these these cases rivet the nation for a different reason. People want to find out the truth. They actually are looking for that. And also, I mean, in the case of Casey Anthony, women I think were mesmerized by this because they identified as mothers and they wondered how. Can can I, uh, you know, how could any loving mother do this to the child? And we look at celebrities different here. We relate to celebrities as if they are our friends and to, fi to public figures. And we, we actually um, kind of measure ourselves against them. In fairness, Phil, I, you know, Bonnie has a point that we do that. But, but frankly, Phil, I'm not so certain that we don't do that because we have encouraged our readers and our viewers to do that over the years. Because, I mean, look, I remember newsrooms where we were told we're not in the business of what's interesting. We're in the business of what's important. And so there was a natural governor on things like the Casey Anthony story or the O.J. Simpson trial at one point where we said, enough already, let's get back to other business. Do we have that anymore or are we set up for the same thing that happened in London to happen here? 